Rays last night, and that's why the Dodgers are World Series champs. That's coming up. Looking forward to it, Colin. Thank you. Well, it has been seven years since LeBron posterized Jason Terry in the playoffs, but Terry says it still gets brought up all the time. Terry said that each time a kid recognizes him, they always ask him, why did LeBron dunk on you like that? So, Shannon, are you surprised that people are still bringing this up seven years later? No. <laughs> um, that's going to be for the rest of his career. Skip, Jason Terry had a very good career. He played 19 seasons. He's an NBA champ, made the seven most threes. But there are certain plays that will stick with you for the rest of your life, no matter what you accomplish. Skip, what is Chris Webber? Chris Webber had a very good NBA career. He's a very good on-TV analyst. What is he known for? He called a timeout they did not have. Okay, but that was an all-time blunder. Bill Buckner. Think about Jim Marshall. Skip, Jim Marshall played 20 years for the Vikes. He never missed a game as a defensive lineman in Minnesota. But okay. what is he known for? He scooped uh, I, up a fumble ran and ran the wrong way. Oh, okay. I, I got it. But was this a blunder by Jason Terry? He's six feet, two inches tall. LeBron is 6'9". He just happened to be in the way. The wrong, wrong place, wrong, wrong time. time. Yes. But didn't that happen in 2013? Yes. Okay, what happened in 2011? Skip. It, it, what, it, it, there it, was this thing called the NBA Finals? It was, it was one. But see, Skip, that's a series. This is one play. Okay, do you realize what Jason Terry did to LeBron over those last three games when LeBron just melted yes. down in a way we'd never seen yes. a superstar melt? Games four, five, and six. Well, this is a big three made right in LeBron's grill. That was a big turning point three. Listen to what Jason Terry did. Sometimes guarded by LeBron, games four, five, and six. 17 points, 21 points, and led all scores in the closeout game six with 27 points. Yeah. I made the case. He could have been the MVP. On, I did. I made a case for him. I thought he was the MVP over Dirk. And I know Dirk was the, the sympathetic, you know, sort of romantic choice, you know. Okay, I got that. But this was Jason Terry at his greatest. Right. And so I, I think. You could argue LeBron was getting even with him, but I think Jason Terry still has the big advantage over LeBron. Well, he does. He, he won the title, Skip, but there are certain plays that happen, Skip, and that's what you go. Skip, Bill Buckley had a very good career. He was a very good batter. I think he won the, I think he won the oh, batting title one year. I mean, I covered him out here in L.A. when he was a Dodger. He was really good. But he, you're not okay. living that down. Okay, I got it, but that was a mistake. <laughs> what, what Jason Terry did... It's it was a mistake. A mistake. He should have. He should have been there. He should have just moved out the way. Hard to live it down. And we got it. it. Is a good we got day it back. To be a fan <laughs> in LA. Congratulations to all those Dodgers fans out there. That's all for undisputed. The herd is on next. We're back same City time of champs, tomorrow. Baby, that's what we are here. Undisputed. While talking about wearing a pair of Kobe shoes while playing for the Lakers in the finals, Anthony Davis may have unintentionally sub LeBron in the GOAT debate. AD said, quote, it felt great to represent Chicago in a Kobe 5. Two GOATs. It was a great moment. So, Shannon, should LeBron take offense to this? Two GOATs? Skip Bayless. Why? If you, if you did like I did and read the interview, they were talking about sneakers. That's what they were talking about, sneakers. Anthony Davis is from Chicago. If you're from Chicago, the Jordan shoe is the gospel. It is the Bible, even if you're not from Chicago, because that is what started it all, okay? The Kobe, everybody loves the Kobe, the Kobe shoe, yes. Now, I have more Jordans than I have LeBrons. I have more LeBrons than I have Kobe's. But for you to try to take make this leap, and here's another thing, because someone says that, okay, the Kobe, I like Kobe is this or Jordan is that, that doesn't mean they're taking a shot at LeBron. Skip, stop doing it. I know what you're trying to do. What you're trying to do is sow dissension, but there's no jealousy between us. We good. We've already turned the team over to AD. This is AD's team, but we're just going to, we're going to do this thing. AD, this is how we're going to do it. But I see what you're trying to do. They were talking about shoes. I love the Kobe also. I wish I had gotten into collecting Kobe's sooner like I did the Jordans, like I did LeBron's, but I didn't. But that's okay. They were talking about shoes. And when you're talking about shoes, right now the most popular shoes are what? The Jordan, the LeBron, and the Kobe's. You know that, I know that. It's definitely not those orthopedics, those PPEs that mm. somebody tried to make, mm. the Skittles mm. and the Fruit Loops. 
Nobody want those. Mm, by the way, those are the most comfortable, no, that, 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 most no, that. comfortable sneakers I've ever worn. Of course, Gil, because you got to be on your feet all day. Mm. You, you, you're an essential worker. Mm. You don't get to sit down. You up all day long. You better get something comfortable. <sighs> Shannon, you know and I know this is just so wrong. What? This is so disrespectful. How? To, to the man who showed Anthony Davis how to win a ring. He didn't, he, he didn't carry him to the ring because in the end, AD carried LeBron to the ring. Ain't nobody carried nobody, Skip. We walk, in, we walk side by side through the door. He's not just talking about shoes when he says two goats. I gave him the first goat. Obviously, I believe that it's not even close between Michael and LeBron. But because Anthony grew up in Chicago or in, in the suburban Chicago area, yeah, he's, he's going to go goat on the king of Chicago, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. I get that one. But he's not just saying the Kobe fives are, are goat shoes. He's saying Kobe's the goat. So he's going Michael and Kobe because Anthony, as we know, he, he just idolized Kobe Bryant. And in fact, he was channeling Kobe Bryant at the end of game two against the Nuggets when he said, give me the damn ball, I'll shoot it, because LeBron, as we remember, didn't want to shoot it. stop doing that. Well, he didn't, and I, now that no, I just that, accidentally no, no, brought no, no, it up, no, 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 look, no, 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 look at the circle. LeBron, the play is called shame. for you, you and you shame. froze. You froze, and Anthony ran across the whole formation and says, I, I, Rondo, throw me the ball, I'm going to channel Kobe, and then he yells, Kobe, because they're wearing Mamba jerseys. Yep. And LeBron James stood there petrified because he was one for six in the fourth quarter, 0 for three from three, and he said, I don't want any part of this. And that was a big, arguably the biggest shot of the playoffs. So, okay. So we beat him in five still. Uh, I don't know. I know. You gave him that kind of momentum. They know momentum. that. Ugh, they know momentum. Know. They what? had momentum. You remember they had a, uh, momentum in game? And what, what game was that game three that they won? And, you know, uh, he was up there shimmying. He hit that big three in AD phase, and he was doing all that. Yep. Shut it down. So, Shannon Sharp, you grew up in a household with a big brother who was a really good athlete and yep. a really, really, really good football player. And he rose and shone all through college and then into the Green Bay Packer fandom and, and heroics. And, and he looked like he was on a Hall of Fame arc. Yes. And then here came little brother. Yeah. And at some point, some morning, I don't know what morning it was, little brother woke up and said, you know what? I'm just better than he is. There was some point in your career where yeah. you said, I'm just better than he is. Well, it, I don't know if I was, I was better, but I know I, uh, the morning I woke up, I think I was about... I think I was about 14, and I said, today I'm going to beat him in one-on-one. Okay. I said, I'm done with Basketball, this. right? Basketball. Okay. I said, I'm going to beat him. I said, Spank, let's go play. Mm -hmm. He's like, all right. And I beat him. And what were your sizes at this point? Uh, he, was, he, was, he was still bigger. I was probably, Skip, you got to realize, as a freshman, I was only 5'5", five, five, 132 pounds. So I was probably about 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and he probably was a senior, but I beat him. Well, how did you beat him? What you mean? How? Cheat? No, ain't no cheat. <laughs> ain't no cheat. I just, I just, I just, I just had, I had to do it, cause it was, it was, it was kill. It, but see, when you brother skip, you don't look at age. He's three years older than me. You don't look at size. That's my brother. I should be well, able to see. If he was it. a senior, then he was what six he one. He was six foot. Six he was, foot. Yeah, six foot. And and probably weighed two hundred. No, he wasn't that big. He was you like one seventy five. One seventy five. One eighty. But I put it on him. He got it. Sterling Sharp was put together. Yeah, oh, he was. Oh, yeah, 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 he was. Okay. But, you know, you make it seem like I was better cheating. I, I know, but well, you, you were at that point. You were 5'5", five, five, <laughs> 130 pounds. I do not believe you beat him when you were 14 I beat years him. old. Ask him, ask him, he'll tell you. And once I beat him, light went off of my head like, dang. Because huh. I know what he was as an athlete, and I just beat him. It's over. Okay. When... AD hit that shot on that day against those Nuggets. I think he just woke up and said, you know what? I, I, I'm just better than he is. Better who? Better than LeBron James. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Little brother you... decided he was better than big yeah. brother. You, you know it, and I know it. You could just see his body language. AD is a top five player. There's no question about that now. The, well, I don't know. AD is a top five player. 
I did not think he had any of this in him. I know he had it in him. From long two-point range, he was flawless. He could not miss. Mm -hmm. He carried you with long twos. Yes. And then every once in a while, a big three. And obviously, he just dominated in the paint. Skip. So he's thinking, it's my do, team, do it's you my time. I'll just go double goat on LeBron James. I'll go MJ and I'll go Kobe. Do you realize, double goat it. Do you realize LeBron James finished two points from leading the entire playoffs in points, rebounds, and assists? Not a series, mm. the entire playoffs. AD had two more points than LeBron James, or LeBron would have led everybody mm. in points, rebound, and assists throughout the entirety of the playoffs. You're talking about in average or total? Total. Average in everything. Everything in total because he just played more games. Whoa, 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 whoa. 80